In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Paris. At number 1, we have Musée d'Orsay. This museum is a converted train station that houses an incredible collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist masterpieces. From Manet to Van Gogh, it's a treasure trove for art lovers. At number two, we have Luxembourg Gardens. This garden is not just a place to relax, it's a storybook landscape with a palace, a beautiful lake, and the Medici Fountain. It's a perfect spot for a leisurely afternoon. At number three, we have Montmartre. This neighborhood is a hub of art, food, and people. From Sacre Coeur to the bustling streets filled with artists, it's a must visit for anyone looking to experience the bohemian side of Paris. At number four, we have Le Marais. This area is known for its fun atmosphere and delicious falafel stands. It's a great place to walk around and you might even find yourself biking through its historic streets. At number five, we have Musée de l'Orangerie. This museum is small but powerful. It houses Monet's rooms of water lilies and several rooms of painting by prominent painters like Picasso and Renoir. At number six, we have Pont Alexandre III. This bridge is not just a crossing, it's a work of art. With views of the Seine, the Louvre, and the Eiffel Tower, it's a must-see. At number seven, we have Musée Rodin. This museum is a hidden artistic gem. From the thinker to the kiss, the sculptures here are mesmerizing, and the tranquil garden adds to the charm. At number eight, we have Jardin des Tuileries. Located near the Louvre, this garden is well-maintained and offers a peaceful escape from the bustling city. At number nine, we have Place des Vosges. This square offers art galleries, quaint cafes, and excellent shopping. It's a perfect spot for those looking to experience the artistic side of Paris. At number 10, we have Musée de l'Armée des Invalides. This museum is unique as it focuses on war and army-type artifacts. It also houses Napoleon's tomb, making it a historical treasure. At number 11, we have Saint-Germain-des-Prés-Cortés. This neighborhood offers something for everybody. From relaxed walking tours to architectural marvels, it's a diverse area to explore. At number 12, we have Ile de la Cité. This island is home to several wonderful sites, such as Notre Dame Cathedral, the Conciergerie, and Saint-Chapelle. At number 13, we have Musée des Arts Forains. This museum contains a collection of older carnival rides and other attractions, offering a nostalgic trip down memory lane. At number 14, we have Champs-Élysées. This famous street offers high-end shopping and a nice little cafes. It's a must-visit for fashion enthusiasts. At number 15, we have Ile St. Louis. This island is quaint and offers great views of Notre Dame. It's a peaceful escape within the city. At number 16, we have Latin Quarter, this area is vibrant and full of narrow streets, student life, and affordable restaurants. It's a lively place to explore. At number 17, we have Père Lachaise Cemetery. This cemetery is not just a resting place. It's a historical site with graves of famous personalities like Edith Piaf and Jim Morrison. At number 18, we have Eiffel Tower. No trip to Paris is complete without visiting this iconic landmark. Whether you take the lift or brave the stairs, the view from the top is breathtaking. At number 19, we have Louvre Museum. Home to the Mona Lisa and countless other masterpieces, this museum offers a profound journey through art history. At number 20, we have Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris. Despite the fire damage, this cathedral remains a stunning example of Gothic architecture and is worth a visit. At number 21, we have Arc de Triomphe. This monument is not just a photo op, it's a symbol of national pride and offers an incredible view of the city from its terrace. At number 22, we have Saint-Chapelle. Known for its intricate stained glass windows, this chapel is like stepping into a jewel box of colors and light. At number 23, we have Basilique du Sacré-Cœur de Montmartre. Located at the highest point in the city, this basilica offers stunning views of Paris and is a place of wonder and reflection. At number 24, we have Palais Garnier. This opera house is a marvel of architecture, particularly the grand foyer and the staircase from the lower floor. At number 25, we have Seine River. A cruise on this river offers enchanting views of iconic landmarks and adds a magical touch to your Paris experience. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in Paris. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.